Hey guys, it's Saturday. Plans for today. Film my Lightbox video, edit it, and do more sketches for my sketchbook. Also, Christian got his haircut, but also his beard because he's been growing it out and curling his mustache, but he knew he wanted it shorter for the wedding, and so his plan was to trim it down a month before the wedding and just kind of let it grow out and see just because he's not 100% sure on the length he wants. Like he might just let it grow out for this one month and just get it cleaned up or whatever. But he just got back and it's like, whoa, because his face has looked so square on the bottom with his big bushy beard. And now his face has that rounder look. You can actually see the shape of his face, but personally I like it shorter like this. I mean, I didn't care that he grew out his beard. like. I wasn't mad about it. It wasn't my favorite thing, especially the curly mustache, but I was just like, well, you know, he can do what he wants. It's his face. But uh, I'm glad he's trimming it down for the wedding just because I don't know. That's how I prefer it. <laughs> he's not sure if he's going to grow it out as long as it used to be again. He might just grow it out a little bit and then just kind of keep it at a medium length. But he's just in the shower right now, just washing off all the hairs and stuff. But I'll show you his beard when he gets out. In the meantime, I'm gonna cook some burgers. Yep. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. How does it feel? Do you feel naked? I feel like two pounds lighter. <laughs> yes. I just set that box down. Like just now. Why? I've been tidying up, just putting things away because there was stuff everywhere. <laughs> and I'm about to start filming. First I need to just print off some art that I'm going to be tracing. I'm going to take my garden bun art and convert it into line art because with the original one I never did ink it. And usually when I have something that I ink I will scan the inks, but with that one there were no inks to scan because it was outlined in pencil. So I'm going to convert it into a coloring page in this video. Well, Garden Bun has successfully been converted into a coloring page. And now I'm going to edit the video about it. About the Cricut Bright Pad. Woo. So I just transferred the video clips to my computer and I recorded the voiceover. So now I'm going to have to edit the clips to the voiceover. But I'm just going to wait on that because I'm getting hungry. I think I'm going to have some supper. And then I can even come and eat it at the computer and edit while I eat. I think that'll be the best way to do it. Usually I like sitting at the table upstairs. Because I used to come down here and eat all the time. And sometimes I still do. But for the last while, like for a long time, for several months, I usually eat upstairs at the little round kitchen table. And then I'll throw on some YouTube videos or Netflix or something. But I think I'm going to just come to the computer and eat my food while getting some work done because I don't want to be up until 2 a.m. again doing my sketchbook drawings for the day. I probably, well, if I don't save that late, I probably won't get them all done, but I don't know. It's a struggle. Tomorrow is Sunday. I don't have to get up early, so I don't know. I'll just draw until I'm tired, I guess. But today I'm going to do some gesture drawings, I think. A lot of you have mentioned it and I've been planning all along to do gestures. I just kind of wanted to start with some more fun stuff first, but Gestures are nice because you usually have a set time limit and you have to quickly get a pose down and so it's about getting the essence of the pose and the fluid motions down real, real quick. And so that's going to help me fill my pages because it has to be quick. Now let me turn these lights off. These shouldn't be on anymore. I don't even think I've really done gesture drawing since school because I went to school for animation and I had three life drawing classes. And we would start with really quick, like 30 second gestures. This was with a live model. And we would work our way, our way up to longer ones. And it always kind of annoyed me how my teacher made us follow a specific set of steps, but I just did what he wanted. Cause like he's the instructor, I'm paying him to teach me to do things a certain way. So I'm gonna do that thing a certain way. So anyway, sometimes though, after doing like the line of action, I just wanted to jump into whatever I was drawn to next. But no, like we had to follow the steps or we'd get in trouble. So with this, like I found a website that um, will do gestures. I don't know. I can't remember if this is the one of the ones people have been recommending to me. I just Googled it and it was like the first thing that came up. But you can set a time limit and you can choose if it's like a clothed model or not, different things like that. And then just go at it. And so I'm excited for that because then I can just do it how I want to do it. I don't know how to do it how my teacher told me to do it. Uh, 
because they're so quick it almost feels like that's the cheating way to fill up my sketchbook but at the same time it's known that gesture drawing is really really good for your art skills and it's really encouraged but if, i don't know why but in my mind i'm just like oh but that's cheating because they're gonna be all messy and fast i'm like but it's still proper art practice they might not look that nice in my sketchbook but maybe they will maybe they will i don't know well the video is finally edited and up thumbnail everything done i actually just have to add the end cards and then that's it it's like fully uploaded and everything because it's sponsored i wanted to send a link to the company so they can review it and make sure it's all good to go and it's 9 40 and i haven't done any pages yet today in my sketchbook <laughs> like i said i'm gonna be doing some gestures so you know that's good but i don't know if i'm gonna hit 20 tonight <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start with 30 second gestures. These are gonna be hideous. I haven't done gesture drawing in forever and I need to sharpen this because the one end is right up to the wood. Whoa! Is that from this? There's like a huge smooch on this now look at this is that visible on camera it's like a dark smudge it's on my thingy where'd that come from i'm making my page ugly okay here we go la, la, la. start lordy lordy i can't this is these are gonna go too fast this is hideous Okay, this is a really long 30 seconds. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this one's also very straight. Boo! It's like the line of actions is literally straight down. Gross, these are hideous. I don't want these in my sketchbook. These are too fast. This one's not even full body. What is this? The first one's not too bad, but that was also one of the more interesting poses. The other ones were kind of boring like that was very straight on from the back this one was it has a bit of movement to it this one was more interesting but it wasn't executed as nicely as that one and this one was just like a weird half body shot where he's slightly curved and i was like okay okay i'm gonna do another 30 second round i stopped it before because i was like no and i had to spray my pages so i could flip the page but these are gonna be ugly i don't want to show these to the internet mm. Whoa, what the frick? Okay, you know what? Skip. I'm gonna skip any ones that are too straight. Oh, this one's interesting. Again, a little hideous, but you know, you know. Well, I only have 11 pages for today. It's 1 a.m. I'm going to bed. Oh, I'm just gonna keep falling further and further behind. I think the key to succeeding with this is getting in my 20 pages plus a bit extra on days when I'm not filming YouTube videos. But at the same time, I've scheduled myself a bunch of extra videos for this month and I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> I might just have to save those for October, which I technically should do because it's going to be my wedding. I'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks. But at the same time, those are just kind of dinky, crappy videos. Mm. Except for the sketchbook flip through. That will be pretty epic. I could do the flip through in two videos technically. Space them out. Except I wouldn't really want to space them out by a whole week. I'd rather just space them out by like two days or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just rethink my plan. But I'm still confident I can do this. I just... <laughs> it's just a rough start. But it just hurts more when the public is watching. I'm like... Oh uh, no, I just feel like more of a failure because I'm like, well, on a normal day I could do more. Like today, I was filming and editing an entire video, uploading it, doing everything, doing email correspondence and whatnot, and I still got it 11 pages. I mean, a bunch of those were gesture drawings, but you know. <laughs> I did do some longer gestures, and then I just did straight up studying from reference stuff after. But... <sighs> It's gonna be an uphill climb. It's gonna be an uphill climb. I'm also hoping to catch up a little bit on my Sunday art stream, which is on September 10th. Is that the Sunday? 
I think so. And because I'm just going to stream all day starting at 10 a.m. And I can go for like 12 hours as long as my wrist doesn't die. <laughs> so I think that will help. And then if I can squeeze in a couple more days that are like that, it's going to be tough during the week because I do have my Twitch streams for four hours. But then if I can just get straight into sketching right after that, that will help because all my sketching has started late so far. Like this is day three and it's the third day where I've started really late on the sketching. And I think if I can start sooner, things will go a lot better. Like I said, I just don't like publicly failing because like I daily vlog so I'm saying my progress. I'm sure I could lie but I don't want to. <laughs> I had a lot scheduled for now too because like right after the bachelorette thing I jumped straight into the sketchbook but I had to rush to make a video for Friday on Thursday and then I made a video for Wednesday today like just extra videos and tomorrow I had scheduled myself to work on my enchanted rose for the wedding so I want to film it to be a video. I think I'm gonna push that back because that's a lot of videos filmed in a short time span and that's hurting the sketchbook man. I could just spend all day tomorrow sketching other than editing the vlog. Just sketch all day. Try to do like 30 pages, you know? Oh my God, I just remembered. I told myself I wasn't gonna wear any foundation for the month of September and I put on foundation today. And yesterday. <laughs> Just because I want my skin to be nice for the wedding, so I'm trying to just let it breathe. But that involves not wearing foundation. That's like the one makeup item I need every day. Like, if I can only have one thing on my face, it's gonna be foundation. <laughs> Mascara is also pretty great. This is where I'm keeping track of my pages. I mean, it's hard because on weekends you never know if some kind of social activity is gonna come up. Like, Tonight I got invited to my friend's place, but I was working on the video still, so I was like, I can't. But you never know when stuff's going to come up. <laughs> but it'd be interesting to do, like, you know, maybe aim for 12 pages a day on the weekdays. Well, that's maybe leaving too many. Let's say 15 a day throughout the weekday. And then pick up the slack on Saturdays and Sundays. That could be a way of doing it. Because I have the streams throughout the week, and I work on YouTube videos throughout the week, so that could way of doing it we'll see we'll see I feel like these studies from this book are helping me more than the gestures are I feel like I don't know I feel like I'm learning a lot with them about just the way the body's moving because there are some really extreme poses in here and a lot of them are very similar but slightly different and I just I don't know I feel like I'm learning a lot so far with these ones anyway I'm going to head to bed so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like that one's a real photo. There's, this is also a real photo. Um, there's one coming that has a lot of real photos in it that I'm excited about. That's the dress one. Oh, I'm excited to see this. This page has a lot of real photos.